Together. I've offered to go to ballet with you and you've rejected it. With me? Yes! Hello people, I am Javi Kowei, joined by Emanuela Bobovier. The lady with the most syllables in the world. Bobovier. <laughs> Bobovier. Oh. Bobovier. Bobovier. It sounds like a, a very high class beer. Bobovier. That's true. Is it a beer? No. Oh. But let's do it. I'll have a Bobovier, please. Yeah. You said it wrong, get out of here. Interesting sleep fact. What will kill you quicker? Lack of sleep or lack of food? If you said lack of sleep, you would be correct. That's wild, right? This sleep fact was sponsored by Sunday, India's first sleep tech startup. Invest in a better quality of sleep with Sunday Mattress. They have a variety of mattresses to suit your budgets and needs. Use the link in the description to get a special deal only for the Quay family. Thank you, Jordan Indian, for allowing us to react to this. We're gonna look at couple goals, Jordan Indian featuring Samyukta Hedge, Larissa Dza, and uh, She Troublemaker. Don't don't read the thing, don't read the thing down there, you're gonna ruin it for yourself. And don't look at the, don't look at the comments either. I'm not looking. Okay, so enough of an intro, let's get into this. Babe. Yeah. Do you think I look bad in this? Bad? You? Why would you even say that? I mean, look at you, you look gorgeous. Thanks. Babe. Hmm. How do I look? You. You need to go to the gym, huh? <laughs> no, <laughs> I haven't ever experienced that. <laughs> I haven't ever... <laughs> I have not ever experienced that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Alright, cool, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey babe, you know that friend uh, I haven't met for like 10 years? Well, he's he's back in town and uh, I thought tomorrow we could like hang out for a bit and just... You wanna hang out with him? Really? You haven't seen me in the last 10 minutes. You know how does that make me feel? That was the last time we went out. Do you remember? You asked me if I want to go out sometime? No. I'm so done with you. Oh my god. I can't deal with the shells. <laughs> He's trying not to laugh. <laughs> Babe, look. Look, look. Nice I'm gonna post it right now. Right now. I'm gonna be the first to like it. Okay. Not even the photo. <laughs> 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 I'm just looking to camera. And then I said, you know, goodbye, Canada, And that was my entry shot in the film. That was the famous dialogue from the thank you. Hey, hey, chill. I got this. Baby? Yeah. Baby, baby. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. I hate when girlfriends do <laughs> stuff like that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, baby. Oh my god, my wish came true. Is this the iPhone 8? No, no, no. This is the iPhone 7, but still, happy birthday. Oh. Thank you. Happy birthday. Hey, that's so Tuesday. real. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I've been searching for this all my life. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I failed. I, just spit. I saw <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cool. You think that's cool? Check this out. Oh, don't. You're going to hurt yourself, bro. What do you think of that? That was okay, but can you do that? Did you see what they just did? It, it's okay. It's okay. I, no. 
you know what? I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. No, 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 no. घड़े के बच्चों, क्या रे? तुम जानते नहीं मैं कौन हूँ? तुम जानते नहीं मेरा boyfriend कौन है? You know he works out every day. Look at his biceps. Look at his triceps. Baby, show them your abs now that you have under your flaps. तुम सबको एक-एक करके लेगा। In fact, वो तुम सबको एक साथ लेगा। कौन है? कौन ready कौन है? वो फिर वो फिर She's obviously never seen Way of the Gun. <laughs> this is the opening of Way of the Gun. She's not my girlfriend, she's my sister. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> In fact, my boyfriend is going to take all of us all together. Who boyfriend? What do you mean, who boyfriend? My boy. His hand. Do you see his hand? <laughs> I like that one a lot. It's a 10 year thing and the 10 minute thing. Yeah. That was funny. I know people who are that way, which is why I find it funny. <laughs> like, can I please just go play FIFA with my friends? And the girl's like, again? You went twice this week? <laughs> it's like, you guys live together and chill out. Here's the thing. <laughs> It's, it makes me sad a little bit. I have been that girl. I have been I have been the girl where because and the thing is I'm always justified. Don't give me that look. I've been justified whenever it's come up. Okay. Because the thing about it is if I'm di like, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna go no, into it. I here. feel like I'm digging myself a no, hole. No, no, no. Let's hear. Let's hear. Uh, it's the thing about it is sometimes a girl will confuse being next to each other as spending time, mm -hmm. as a guy might do as well. Like a guy might be like I'm next to you. What's up? Like we're, that's spending time, and it's like what. If you're doing separate things, you're not actually spending time together. My whole thing is actually connecting. Like you and I are connecting right now in this conversation, yeah. as opposed to us just like, you know, I'm on my on phone. And, yeah. So that to me is what I'm talking about. So when someone comes into town, I'm like, that's cool. You give them importance, but like we haven't spent actual quality yeah, time together. I get that. That's what's frustrating. That's the kind of fight I've had. I can totally see this being a thing. I haven't personally encountered this. Every girl I've dated has always been cool. Like if I want to go do my thing, they'll just let me. Yeah. I've been the bitch. <laughs> You've been the needy. <laughs> I've been the needy one. But I get that. I think you that's know. something that's very common where you confuse being together and spending time together, the, you know? The beginning, I'm so, I'm so ashamed. Like the beginning one is also me. Like I'm the girl in that situation where the girl will compliment me. It's not back to back though. It's not immediate. It's all like this where it's like, you look good, well you need to go to the gym. Yeah, it's never been like that. She'll make me feel good, but the thing is I'm working out. Like I'm actually going to the You're gym. You're putting in the work. Yeah. For it. I'm putting in the time and the effort because I'm sculpting. And then she goes, How do I look? I'm like I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just I I, I leave it at that because I, I don't wanna like say anything mean. But it's like that was already a volume of, of insults well, for the girl. You see I think that look she's about finding the balance, especially when it comes to body image for women, I think that's like a very sensitive topic. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? Lie? Well, imagine it's your girlfriend and she put on like a couple extra kilos or pounds or whatever you use. <laughs> you silly, how big, silly how, Americans. <laughs> how big of a problem is that for you? You know, I, like you can still find your girlfriend like sexy or attractive if she has a couple of extra pounds here or there. Mm -hmm. So it could be like, well, I think you're beautiful, but if you wanted to like get more like fit, that's another thing. Also, it's like, not correlated. Navigating. It's literally navigating <laughs> yeah. how to get into like a girl's head. Head. Yeah. Because if you like insult her body, I yeah. think that's the worst thing for a girl. Because then it sticks there and we're already so crazy and like looking in the mirror and finding like this flaw and that flaw and this and that and this isn't okay and like right. we're already already doing so much of that work. You almost looked into your French accent there for a second. That was cute. <laughs> we can okay. do the next video and French accent if you yes. want. <laughs> what I've tried to do and this rarely works. It's only worked on one woman that I've dated, which is I just emphasize how much I'm going to the gym and how much I'm cleaning up my diet. Like I keep Kind Subtly, of like, yeah. you're like, I'm gonna go work out again today because yeah. I feel like it. For those of you who have been following me a long time, you know that at one point I cut my finger open to the point that I saw my bone. I had a date here and I was I cut avocado. I went, oh, it's this finger actually. It went While straight. While the girl was here? <clears throat> While the girl was here. It went straight through the avocado into my finger and I exposed my bone. I had to get stitches. Despite having five stitches in my finger to keep it from like just exploding open again. I was going to the gym. The girl who I was on that date with, like we got more serious. I was in Vegas with my, with my buddy. She FaceTimed me and I'm at the gym. She's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm working out. Cause like, that's what I do. She's like, you don't have to, I like, I don't mind my men having a little bit of pudge. And I go, don't ever say that to me again. Don't ever say that. Cause I do not want you to give me a bad habit. Like I have worked hard to get to this point. Cause I was like in tip top funk shape. Don't send me down this path of being Homer Simpson. Like I need to look like this. This, this is for my sanity. And so she started working out more. 
All that to say that sometimes it works. Most of the time it doesn't. I think it definitely is like an influence, especially if like one of the activities you can do is like working out together. I that, think that's always like, well, like not necessarily going to the gym, but like going yeah. to play tennis or going to like okay. yoga together, which is something I used to do with my ex-boyfriend. And okay. it was like a good motivator of like, okay, well, instead of just going to the restaurant and eating food, let's go like take a cycling class. Together. I've offered to go to ballet with you and you rejected it. With me? Yes. You did? I, yes. I said, let's just go to ballet. It's right next to where you live. And oh, let's go. And you're like. I don't uh, remember it being. Uh, I was going. You almost Valley. want to do a French accent again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm done to go to the ballet. So I think that Achar like stepped in to save me actually because she was like, she's advanced. You heard beginner. I'm like, I don't no, care. I stopped like a while ago. At this point, <clears throat> you're probably that, better. That than doesn't me. mean anything. Don't ever listen to a woman when she's downplaying it. That means she's amazing, and you're gonna <laughs> feel so stupid. Because that's happened to me with gymnastics. There was a girl who was interested in me, and I was kind of interested in her. She's like, oh, I suck now. I'm terrible. Like, I haven't done gymnastics in, like, 25 She's years. She's, like, doing flips yeah, yeah. So, so I go out there. I'm doing, like, a backhand spring or something. Like, a basic gymnastics thing. And then she's doing, like, full twists and stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go over here and collect my balls. Because, <laughs> like, this it doesn't feel very good. So, you know. Thank you. Happy birthday. The Fuchsia pink lipstick? The iPhone thing was great. I've been on both sides of that. I've been the girl and I've been the guy where I'm like, I'm trying to give something and it's not quite the thing. It's kind of hilarious. Like you give this huge thing to your significant other and then a girlfriend gives this thing that maybe costs 20 bucks, but it's this like lipstick she's been looking for for a long time. Mm -hmm. So th this thousand dollar thing doesn't matter. That lipstick is everything. Mm -hmm. That's so real to me. In fact, Thankfully, I haven't ever, ever had a girlfriend that would instigate, but I have had girlfriends who would ask me can you beat him up can you beat him up because I have a black belt and I'm like yeah but like let's not go there I <laughs> could but yeah. I won't let's not explore that because I'm just not interested in messing this up I found that oftentimes when people cat call if you respond like even as a woman like if I respond mm -hmm. like someone's like hey like wanna fuck or something and like you, you stop and you're like sure like when where let's do it and then they're like um if they get really startled if you respond to it a lot of times I'll just be like not if they're in a group. A lot of times if like, they're like alone, then you can respond and make them uncomfortable and then walk away without beating anyone up. And then you're like- Or you could just cry. <laughs> <laughs> I just got yeah, dumb yeah, today, yeah, yeah. it's not yeah, the time. Yeah. <laughs> There's like certain things that a woman can do that will just shut it down. You can cry, you can just start going you Yeah, know, start you making can just a do... really weird face. Yeah. Like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, or, you, or you could be like, I'm pregnant, but that's cool, let's do it. <laughs> You know, you can say things that Only if you marry me after. Yeah. Thank you, Jordanian, for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. Enjoyed it thoroughly. Make sure to check out Emanuela Bobovier on the social media. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our... Is it just an accent that I'm missing? Or... Yeah. Okay. Check out our other reactions, reviews, <laughs> short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Javi Koy. This is... Emanuela Bobovier. Peace out. Okay. So you're, like, it's almost like you're throat changes Bobovier. shape when you say Bobovier. Yeah, because it's Bobovier. like the eh. Bobovier. Okay, anyway.